So the event we've got going on at the moment is our Cyber, cyber Leadership Symposium, organised with Templar Executives, and it's here to really start, uh, kickstart our journey as we develop and launch our Cybersecurity Executive MBA programme to really help to generate the uh, next generation of cybersecurity leaders. This is a phenomenal event. Um, the sheer amount of experience and expertise and knowledge that is in this room is incredible. So we've heard uh, from a range of leading industry experts from the Office of Nuclear Regulator, Nuclear De Decommissioning Agency, the NHS, um, the MOD, uh, maritime sector, all coming together and sharing their ideas and their concepts of what a world-class cyber leader is. Technology is there to help sustainable societies and, and make the world a better place. And without being able to secure that technology, people are going to be reluctant to take it on um, and take on the additional cost related to that. So essentially we're all in this together, um, whether you are a large corporate, a small business, whether you're an individual doing your shopping online, the risk to us all is real. I think a great cyber leader needs a, a few really important characteristics. The first one is this humility. What do I mean by that? The willingness to find in the room the voice that's got that brilliant idea. And it may be the quietest voice in the room, seeking that out. It might not be the most experienced. It might be the most junior person. So the ability to seek out that voice. But cyber leaders are good leaders. Uh, cyber is almost an ancillary point to that. However, there is clearly a need to understand uh, the cyber realm commensurate with the seniority and the decision-making powers. You need to be able to talk to the business, you need to be able to convince boards, and, and then you've got to get your technical folk on board as well. There isn't a need for cyber leaders to be completely versed in all of the uh, aspects of technology, but they do need to at least understand the implications of the technology. Uh, so we have to make sure we've got the right skills in society to protect ourselves and, and each other as well. So the reason you should invest in this is because you can make your own cyber leaders if you give them the right opportunities. Um, as I said, there aren't a lot of them around um, and the market's competitive. Certainly within my company, we're struggling to recruit the expertise we require. Um, I believe the latest figures are something like 5.6 million in terms of cybersecurity professional shortfall uh, across you know, the world. It's hard to get really good people. Um, and it's hard to get people from different backgrounds. You know, there's, there's still a shortage of women in the sector. There's still a shortage of ethnic minorities in the sector. I'd like to see more diversity uh, in, in the cyber um, discipline. Um, it's tended to be historically quite IT-led and quite male-dominated. It's really encouraging to see that that is changing. Everybody has a role to play, and it's not just the province of the IT team. I think that organisations need um, a collective understanding of cyber risks. It can't just be something that an IT team does, or a CERT, or a SOC, or anything like that. It needs to be something that sits across, you know, and is pervasive in the organisation. Ensure that you have the right culture, so really uh, encouraging cyber to be part of your DNA, business as usual, so that everybody has responsibility in the space. And it's really interesting to hear the common features that keep coming out across all of those different sectors things about cyber leader is open and listening to, to their team able to collect a, a good team of good people around them to get those really strong po positive outcomes thinking about how they themselves will learn and grow within their role and reflecting on their own practice and these are all the sort of the key things that we're hoping to achieve and develop in individuals that come onto our program and or and also work with us at Lancaster University the the cyber executive MBA uh, obviously needs to work and therefore uh, for those people who view me talking about it please consider sending one of your C-suite or somebody who's about to move into a position where they are responsible for the cybersecurity agenda on this course.